I want to talk about something that I think is, when you're thinking locally, it's probably one of the most important things and it's one of the most overlooked things and it's personal responsibility. And I think we all, at some point, it's like the hardest thing to do in sports and having friends, choosing which restaurant to go to. It's like you want to go out with friends and no one ever wants to make the decision of where you want to go. And then when someone picks the place, then no one wants to go there. And then they just throw their hands up and you're back at square one. Like no one's just like, we're going to go to this place. So I want to talk about personal responsibility and you know doing what we can individually to help represent our city in a positive light. And I also want to say that most of my examples are really, really random. But trust me that like it's going to it's going to round itself off in the end, or I'm just going to completely confuse you, and hopefully you take something from it. But I've always looked at like the local community as like a team, and for the sake of the NBA playoffs, we're going to be a basketball team, not the Atlanta Hawks. Though we're not going to talk about it. So you got your point guards, you know, and those are pretty much like your interns, your uh, freelance writers and journalists. Yes, those are two different things. And you know, just people that are involved in our local organizations, Newtown Macon, Mainstream Macon, um, Crossroads, Random Family Records, et cetera, et cetera, Gateway Macon. These are the guys that are going to pass the ball or get the ball to the right person or get the information to the right person. Like the word usually starts with them. It's, it's pretty much what that position is. Your shooting guards are gonna be more like your bands, your artists, your graduating students who their goal is to get outside of Macon, spread the word for themselves as well as the city. So they're gonna take more like the, the big shots. Does that make sense? Your small forwards are gonna be more like your homebodies. Like these are people with families, people with children, who every now and then you're gonna show up at an event and be like, man, what are you doing here? Oh, you didn't know I like death metal? Like, you know what I mean? Like every now and then you're gonna see them, but for the most part, like their job is to be near the paint, the home base. Your power forwards and your centers are business owners, your public figures, your uh, city council members. They have the capital and the power to make the decisions that on certain levels you can't make. So pretty much like working as a team is the key. And it's not always gonna be perfect as most of us know. Like, it's not always gonna be perfect, it's not always gonna be right. There are other teams that are way better than us, or appear that they're way better than us, but I don't really think it's about finding a blueprint from another city to follow. I think it's more about accepting what we have and building our own mindset for what we have to offer. And it's so crazy to me just how much people don't understand how, a negative, how far a negative comment can go to someone who doesn't really care about making to begin with and now you've given them another reason to not care. Like, people just really, really just kind of throw me off. Like, perfect example, the I Love Making campaign. Great idea, for those that don't know, it's the M with the heart that's everywhere in here. Like, when I heard about it, I signed it, I was like, yes, this is a great idea. It, it separates people, but in a good way. If you find out who really loves making and who is just determined to be a jerk. Like, it just, it does that very quickly. So I saw it and I, you know, I filled it out. I think Heather Cutway was well, the first. Are you gonna talk about it more? All right, cool. So I, I filled it out, you know, you get a free t-shirt. Who doesn't want free t-shirts? And it's, it's cool because it gives, every time I wear it, I get three responses. I either get awesome shirt, and it shows me that that person has filled it out, they got a t-shirt, and it's like we're on the same page, like we're on the same team, because we, we believe in that same thing. I get the, you know, what does that mean? Is it a McDonald's shirt or whatever? But when I, when I explain it to people, 95% of the time, like they like the idea, and they wanna be a part of it, they wanna know where they can pledge and get a t-shirt. And the third one is always some one of those people I was talking about that has like this, a sarcastic comment that's not even funny, but you have to like pretend to laugh at it because the situation is already awkward. Like, oh, it's really hard to say something good about Macon. And that just, that right there alone just kills me. Like, it's hard to say anything good. You don't like the sidewalk. Like that, that's, <laughs> that's the most intense hatred that I've ever heard. And it's usually, every time that happens, it's with someone that is with friends from Atlanta or Savannah or somewhere else. And they don't realize of that it's hard to say anything good about Macon. Why would that person from Savannah try to come here and find something good to say when you've already told them there's nothing here, don't look for it? You know what I mean? So I think the personal responsibility is something that's very important that we have to just sort of point the finger a little bit less because there's a lot of crack that we can 
you know, talk about and be like, this needs to change, that needs to change. And it's, it's always going to be that way. We're never going to be perfect. So I propose, and it's just a theory. I don't really do too many theories because, I mean, at the end, well, I guess I do because I rap. So it's like everything's sort of a theory, kind of. Anyway, it's just a theory. So if you don't agree with it, you know, that's neither here nor there. But I have a theory of four ways that I think that we can take personal responsibility to do our part. And the first thing is, accept what you don't like. Accept it, cry a river, build a bridge, get over it. Is that how that goes? Cry a river, build a, build a bridge, get over it, yes. Accept it. There are some things that, you know, at the end of the day, we just can't change. Things are out of our control. The fact that we have 15 city council members and the fact that a city like Detroit is twice our size and has nine, is probably not going to change in the time or fashion that you wanted to change. I think some of you have been here for a while and you know that it's probably going to be that way. So it's just accepting what you don't like. Let's get that out of the way. Like, I don't like this, I don't like this, so I'm going to stay away from those things. That's fine. You do it with everything else. You do it with what you eat, you know, you don't like. I don't like fast food anymore. The fact, smelling checkers is one of the things that I just cannot do. Like, my entire, my entire mental system breaks down when I smell checkers and I just want to go lay down. So I just <laughs> like so I just don't drive by checkers. Like I really avoid driving by checkers when I'm in town. So accepting what you don't like. And then that rolls into the second thing. I think embracing what you do like is very important. Searching for something positive is very important. Rather than talking about the fact that local business foul play doesn't have wings anymore, which I was really kind of bummed out about. But, you know, let's talk about the fact that Rookery is adding a new upstairs, which is supposed to be like kind of like an upscale thing or, or something like I don't have too many details on it. But let's talk about the fact that that's going on. Let's talk about a new place like Roasted that is really filled a void for sort of like a, a, a tight knit spot that's a little quieter, a little bit more laid back. You know, you can go in and get some work done. You can go in and just kind of chill out. The staff there seems to know about everything. Like I talk to them literally about sports, about like political issues, and then about Jim Carrey. Like it's just, so it's embracing what you do, like finding those things that are positive and harboring on those. I think the third thing is celebrating our local culture. Macon is literally one of the places, if not the only place I've ever been to where you can literally be whatever you want to be. Literally, I mean, I think that's one of the main reasons why a lot of us are here is because once we got here and we figured out this is a place where you can hone your skills or this is a place where for some of the professors and some of the teachers, you may have not wanted to be at that big university because of, and I don't really know much about like that stuff behind the scenes, but you may have not wanted to be at that bigger university because you wanted to make, you wanted to be able to make more of a difference and be able to touch more kids personally rather than just talking to a class of 300 people and two people actually, you feeling like you actually talk to two people. So celebrating that local culture, I think is that main thing. I mean, Kroger, Barnes and Nobles, Walmart, Kmart, if they still have those, like these are going to be in every city that you go to. They're going to look the same, they're gonna sound the same, they're gonna smell the same, they're gonna have the exact same people in them at 1 a.m. Or, or whatever it is when it gets really weird at Walmart. But they're going to be in every city that you go to. But something like the Mulberry Street Market, there are a lot of other markets everywhere else. Like probably every local city has like a local market. But the thing about the Mulberry Street Market is it's your market. These are your farmers. They're making food for us. They're making, they're growing food for us is more the right way to say it. Barnes and Nobles is in every city you go to. The Golden Bow is special because it's the Golden Bow. It's the only Golden Bow. It's 15 minutes driving distance if you live, I guess, in North Macon, or for most of us that are downtown all the time, it's five minutes walking distance. How many Barnes and Nobles have you been to that have punk bands playing in the reading room after hours? You know what I mean? So our music culture, we can continue to talk about our music culture over and over and over and over. And more importantly, the guys from you know the, our heyday 
they paved a way for us to be able to do what we're doing now. We have so many bands that have like reached out on a local, regional, and national scale. So it's really just about celebrating what we have now because we do have some things that can be talked about now. And not to say that it's not happening, but celebrating it. I'm not saying don't go to Kroger. I'm not saying don't go to Walmart. I'm not saying don't work there. I'm not saying tell your friends not to go there. I'm saying don't celebrate these places because they're not ours. Does that make sense? And my last one, leave Macon sometimes. <laughs> it's okay to do that. It is okay to leave. You're not betraying anyone. No one's, well, some people will be mad of like, man, you're not gonna be in town? Like, a, the, I've been getting to go to like a lot of different places and every time I miss an event now, someone's like angry. <laughs> like, you're, you're not gonna be there? And it's like, I'm, I, I wanna go tell other people to come here, so. I don't have to be there all the time. So leave making. It's okay to go tell your friends. It's okay to go tell your family. You know, business trips where everyone's talking about, hey, you know, we did this and we did that and the third and everything. I think it's okay to tell them about making. Without, I'm not saying be like, you know, overly bragging about it of like, making is awesome, making is awesome. You know, we've got all these people in the streets and then they come here <laughs> on a Monday. <laughs> And there's like 20 people outside and they're like, dude, you brought me down here for this, like seriously. So I'm saying just, you know, and keep that revolving door open. You know, if you go to another city and you end up in a bar, you like a band that's playing. After the show, get their contact information. If they link up with a band that we have in town, say, hey, I've got some friends that live back in Macon. I think they would love to work with you. I think you guys will put on a great show. Pass that information on. If you see a local restaurant doing something that you think could help one of our places that maybe we're about to lose, or you've spoken to the owner, which another thing that you can do in Macon, you can literally talk to everyone. You can talk to your city council members. I see Mayor Rickard probably way more than I should. Like, <laughs> you can talk to your restaurant owners. You can talk to the staff that works there. Take that opportunity to pass along ideas because I think we can continue to grow if we recharge ourselves on new things. And those new things aren't just going to magically create themselves inside the city with the same 100 people. Does that make sense? See, I told you it would kind of like round off in the end. I know when I got to the basketball thing, y'all were like, man, this is gonna be like, <laughs> they, he didn't think this out at all. But I really, so th those are my four things. Accepting what you don't like, embracing what you do like, celebrating our local culture, and leave making every now and then. Sometimes you do have to take a breather because we get ourselves wrapped up in a lot of the local things that are going on that we should be getting wrapped up in. So sometimes you have to take a breather. And I think if we take that personal responsibility to just demand to say something positive and to have a better attitude about the things that we do like, if we do that one by one, we'll start to see the changes that we want to see a lot faster. Thanks, guys.